Well, a good Sunday to you. Thanks for checking us out here on Fox 26 Houston.com and YouTube. This is your tropical update. I'm meteorologist John Dawson going to do things a little different. I don't always spend a lot of time talking about the Pacific Ocean, uh, focusing on the Atlantic Basin for the most part here, but the action is out in the Pacific. It's been a little twist of the what we would think of as normal, where we found a very active Pacific so far, and the Atlantic has been somewhat quiet in recent months at least. And uh, I do think that's going to start to change a little bit. But for now, we'll go with the active side of things over in the Pacific. Uh, and this large sort of uh, blossoming spot here on the satellite is newly formed tropical storm Hector. So that is going to be something Something that continues to become more organized uh, for at least a little while as it's going to continue to the west. Uh, and then what we have here is going to be Hurricane Gilma. Uh, it is a compact storm, but it is a major hurricane, and we're going to focus on Gilma in just a minute. But if you'll notice over on the edge of our screen here, satellite imagery, not even really uh, I've got the other satellite. I don't even have it on. Uh, this is where we're going to find Hone. Hone is a hurricane that just went to the south of Hold the Hawaiian Islands and it came very close with about four. The eye of the storm came within about 45 miles of the big island of Hawaii, uh, but now beginning to pull away around 4 a.m. on Sunday morning is when it made its closest approach. Didn't technically make a landfall because the eye of this hurricane did not cross the, the land. As I mentioned, it was about 45 miles off. But enough that it certainly impacted the island with some strong winds as well as quite a bit of rain. So again, Hone is currently an 80 mile an hour maximum sustained winds hurricane. And as we get a little bit closer here, you can see its impacts. Uh, lesser impacts on the other islands of Hawaii, but still some. They're getting 30 mile an hour winds, some rainfall. But it was the big island that got most of the activity with those strong winds. And then also some flooding is becoming a bit of a problem. Parts of the island seeing 12, 14. I've seen even 15 inches of rain in some reports, but all of this now moving away and you'll notice probably going to keep that hurricane strength through the overnight hours on Sunday into Monday early and then continuing to downgrade, fall apart a little bit as the, this will become a tropical storm and eventually kind of just run itself out as we go through the next five days or so. Uh, we'll expect that to somewhat uh, fall apart just a little bit with its uh, characteristics uh, out there in the Pacific Ocean. So let's back up for a minute and talk about Gilma. Gilma is a major hurricane right now. Category three hurricane. Those maximum sustained winds at 150 miles an hour. I've got pretty much Nothing but good news when we're going to talk about Gilma and the fact that it is going to continue to move into areas that are not favorable for development. And that means we're going to continue to see weakening take place gradually. Going to stay a hurricane probably all the way up until Tuesday, though. And then we get into Wednesday and on down the line and we begin to weaken. And I think this is going to be able to at least either go north of the Hawaiian Islands or either just fall apart and not be a very strong storm at all once it finally reaches there. So as I mentioned, for the most part, uh, not a lot good news as far as Gilma is concerned and the folks over in Hawaii. So a lot of going on uh, in the Atlanta in the uh, Pacific side. As I mentioned, three named systems right now that the National Hurricane Center is keeping a track on. We look back to the Atlantic side of things and yes, there's a few tropical ways. Nothing too interesting right now and the expectations still for the next seven days, not looking for tropical development. We've now reached past August the 20th and August the 20th is that part where we really begin to see a spike. We really begin to see a lot more activity happening until we get to the peak of hurricane season, which is September the 10th. And so we'll expect to continue to see things show some signs of development, although it certainly remains quiet for now. And for the next five to seven days, it probably is going to remain quiet as well as we're moving in uh, to that active season of September. That'll do it for our update today. Remember, we're here every day of hurricane season, so we'll expect to see you back here four o'clock central time around four o'clock central time uh, tomorrow, Monday. We'll see you then.